Hey y'all, it's your girl Ashley. Um, I'm coming to y'all. I was about to say real quick, but I know it's gonna be quick because I know how I am. I know I like to run my mouth there. But I just decided to come and do a video <clears throat> on something that I don't think I've ever done a video on before. Um, but it's my hair. Typically when I do videos, I like put some hair on or I know a lot of recently I've been kind of wearing some ponytails and different things like that. So even though I have had videos like my hair out and down, I don't have that many, I don't think. Um, but I am a self-proclaimed kitchen beautician. You heard me? I got my license. If you want to see it, comment below. And I'll put that up. Yeah. Okay. Wash, flat iron, relax, any kind of style. It's all me. Okay. So I decided I'd come and do a video on the things that I do and I use for my hair. Like every time I wash. Do you guys care? I don't know. Probably not. Some of y'all probably like, did we ask you for this video? But I was sitting here flat ironing and only oh, you see the back of my head is not done. Let me see that. Woo! Woo, jingle. But yeah. So I thought maybe this would be a kind of interesting video to do just to kind of show people what I do. I'm not some, you know, expert hair expert. I'm not like always on the hair blogs, you know. Like I don't know like what the texture of my hair is you know I see people that are like yeah my hair is a 2B3479 and I'm trying to get it to BSL it's like bra strap length you know what I mean like it's not even that serious for me um I just do what works for me and do what works for my hair in the past few years I've cut it several times um but a better part of my life my hair has been like shoulder length or longer and over the past two years I've had it like maybe right around here like my neck yeah so this is probably the first time in a while that i'm just like letting it grow um just to see if i can get it to back long again and you know whatever so as you can see it's like the picture is different my camera is tripping y'all it's tripping and i might have to call sony and get somebody a piece of my mind that's all i'm saying because this shouldn't be tripping okay so i'm on my webcam and i don't know how good it's gonna look for my hair I use this organic stimulator olive oil creamy aloe shampoo moisturizes really well it's really I mean it gets your hair clean but not like squeaky clean almost like it's stripped it doesn't do that and it also doubles as a um, neutralizer shampoo so I can use this when I do my relaxers and like I said it doesn't strip your hair I typically use when I do my relaxers the um, ISO plus neutralizer shampoo because it has like the color indicator in there and a lot of things and I'm just been using it as long as I've been doing my own relaxer but once you finish using it your hair feels stripped it's just like hair you know what I mean and I don't like that feeling because after I use the neutralizer shampoo I typically have to use some other shampoos to kind of try and build it up get some moisture back in there and have it not feeling so brittle and just you know stripped but with this one I don't have to worry about it it moisturizes really well and I love it so that's what I shampoo with I usually shampoo twice with this. Yeah. After I shampoo with that, I go in with my um, Bio Silk Silk Therapy Shampoo. This stuff, I bought it because I, a while back, I used to use all the time the Bio Silk Silk Therapy. They have like a um, like a polisher, and it's almost like one of those silicone based things. You know, it's like really supposed to give your hair some shine and whatever and I love the way it made my hair feel and I love the way it felt when I flat ironed all that stuff so I saw this in the store and I decided to buy it now this is usually I think like 16 17 bucks in the store I got it in raw for like 5.99 um they had a bigger bottle but I didn't get that one because I didn't know whether or not I was gonna just love it but I do like it um in moderation I only wash do one shampoo with it I do two with the aloe and just one with this but that one shampoo is enough to really make my hair soft and it helps with like the flow and you know what I mean and it I don't know it feels silky like it really does it's silk therapy it really does feel silky conditioner I was using the conditioner that accompanies this they have a conditioner that goes along with it it's the olive oil shampoo and it's like orange as well it's oh my god the color is orange but it has a citrus scent but it's not like you know what I'm saying? The fake me out orange soda. It's interesting. It's like somebody took an orange and zested it into the bottle. Like it's oh my god, it smells so good. And I'm not even just a big orange person, but it smells so good. 
and it's like probably the best conditioner that I've ever used. I love the way it makes my hair feel. It softens like nobody's business. But the last time I went to the store to get a refill to get some more, they didn't have it, so I had to settle. So I got this um, ISO Plus Natural Remedy Orange Conditioning Conditioner, and I bought it. And I'm gonna use it since it's gone. Okay, it's it's good. It works. It's not like the organic root stimulant. That stuff is like the bomb.com. Seriously, it's not that good, but I do like it. It is good. So I use this along with my um, Motion Deep Penetrating Treatment, and what I actually did was dump some of this into the motion container and mix it up really good. So, if you can see that. You might have some hair or something in there, but it's like, you know, really creamy. And this stuff like loosened it up. But I just take this, put it all over my hair, and I put a plastic shower cap on. Put the cap on and I just go about my business. I go make me something to eat, clean up, like, you know, watch some TV over there. It's usually about 45 minutes to an hour that I keep it on. And I think that that, like, I mean, I don't know. I just think it works better. My hair be like extra soft when I keep it on longer. So that's that. I wash that out. After I take, wash my conditioner out, I put a little oil on my scalp. This is just a mixture of different things. It's like some vitamin E oil. I think it's some um, carrot oil, some tea tree oil in here that I just mix together. And I just use this because it has a nice applicator. And I just go on all over my hair on my scalp. And I just work it into my scalp really good. I don't like to use a whole lot because I don't want it to be heavy. And I don't want to have a lot of residue when I blow dry. So I just put that on my scalp. Then I go in with the um, Apogee Keratin Green Tea Reconstructor. I think a lot of people on YouTube use Apogee products. And I do like them. They're nice. Um, but this one, you can't use a whole lot of it. I found that when I really just kind of get heavy handed with it, I don't like the way my hair feels when I blow dry. So I just blow a little. Blow. I just spray a little bit. You know, some on this side, some on this side, back. And just make sure I get, you know, good coverage. Right at one. And I'll spray a little extra in the back of my hair because I do have some breakage in the back of my hair. Um, and then I use the Apogee Pro Vitamin Leave In Conditioner and I spray this an ample amount. Make sure it's all, you know, work through. Then I part my hair into fourths and I blow dry. I blow dry with my paddle brush and just a regular, you know, hand blow dryer. Um, after I blow dry each section, I'll take this. And this is the generic brand, as you can see. But it's the generic version of the um, BioSilk that I was talking about earlier ago. I said earlier ago. Lord. That I was talking about a minute ago. But it's um, by Farouk, by Farouk Systems, my bad. BioSilk Silk Therapy Leave In Replenishment Treatment. The BioSilk, the real deal, is a little bit better. But this is it's close to that. Put a dime size amount in my hand and then work it in each section. And then I put it um, and for flat ironing, I just, I had this cheap old and this ceramic flat iron that I got from Walmart. This one was $15. You hear me? I think I was at home one time and I didn't have a flat iron or something. I don't remember. But I used my sister's and I was like, girl, this, I mean, it was, my hair was banging. It was like blowing in the wind. It was like flawless. Okay. I asked, I was like, where you get this from? And she was like, girl, I got it from Walmart. I don't spend no money on, you know, because my sister's one of them faithfully every two weeks at the salon. It don't rain, sleet, snow, come hell high water, she gonna be in that chair. She ain't in the kitchen beautician. So she's like, I ain't spending a whole bunch of money on my flat iron because I don't really use it. So I used hers. I loved it. So I went and got myself one at Walmart. And it is good. I've had it for about a year and maybe like three months or something like that now. And it does work. And um, another flat iron that I've been using more and more lately, I've had this flat iron for about five years and I had kind of retired it because, I don't know, I was just, the plates were so big. It was just annoying to me sometimes, but I really began to appreciate this flat iron again. This one is by Titanium Tools, and I think it was like Tourmine Plates or something like that. I don't remember, but I got it at Sally's, and I think it might have been 60 or 70 bucks at the time. Um, so it's, it's, like I said, it's about five, maybe, maybe longer than that, years old. And it's still working. It's up to like 400 degrees or something. I don't use it that high because, you know, I want to have hair after I'm done flat ironing. But, yeah, but I just thought I'd come. That's pretty much my regimen, what I do, like, every time I wash. Um, you guys might not care at all. You might. I don't know. But I just figured I need to do a video. And, you know, some people might be interested. And even still, you know, I like to watch people's videos. Even if it's not relevant to me, I just like to, you know, see what people are doing, what they're using, whatever. So I just thought I'd do a really quick video. Hey, guys, I just want to come back really quick. I actually just finished all of my hair. Um, once I finish, I just... Spray it off with a little bit of soft and beautiful oil sheen, like ultimate protection for soft, silky, healthy hair. 
that's what it says but yeah that's it that. i just sprayed a little bit on there and just want to show you guys the finished look if you can even see it because i don't know how much you can see but yep after it's all been flat ironed and everything is all straight but um yeah that's that like i said i don't even know if this is anything y'all care to see but it's all right so y'all see y'all the next one and that